guys yep you guessed it I am back out again hunting today hopefully trying to find some goodies I've uh, come to my permissions but I've got a little mission before that just about 10 yards away from one of the fields someone lost a gold sovereign ring a few years ago and they went back to look for it he doesn't think it's been nicked or picked up so um, I'm gonna go and have a little scoot a scoot around for it because it's only a small area see if I can try and find it it'd be really cool if I could and then afterwards I'm gonna get on my permission try and find some goodies and see how, see how we got on it's, it's the Sun's out as you can see but it is absolutely freezing so I'm gonna try and um, get on with it and see see what happens I've maybe got a lad tagging along in a bit who's been watching my videos he's borrowed his old man's white detector and he's gonna come out and I'm hopefully going to be able to help him out a little bit and get him, get him used to uh, going out hunting. Um, anybody who's subscribing to my videos or subscribed, make sure you comment in the box below each video or one of the videos because you won't be on the list for the prizes tomorrow. I'll be giving away a Garrett Finds pouch and a Sphinx Coins book, so make sure you comment on that. And then it, on December the 25th, I'm going to, I'm going to buy it myself I'm going to buy a year's subscription of Searcher Magazine and I'm going to give it away as a gift on the 25th of December. So make sure you subscribe, there's going to be plenty of prizes and I've got a couple of ideas for next year, um, gifts and days out with me and stuff like that on my permissions and whatever. So yeah, keep following, uh, follow my Facebook page, Mark's Metal Detecting Finds and yeah, I'll see you on the first all. See you in a bit. Well, here I am guys. I'm just I'm just making my way over to that little strip of grass over there and I get a lovely signal, 65 and I dig it and I nearly weed myself sadly it's not gold though when I first dug it and I saw the gold glint I couldn't believe it and I pulled it out and saw the 10 cent on the other side and I couldn't see that side, it actually looks like it could be old and then flip it over 2002 oh well I'll find my goal one day catch you in a bit alright guys just almost at that strip of grass where I need to start looking for the sovereign ring but I'm just running down this fence here as you can see behind me and I've just found uh, a little thimble there we go cool I'm happy with that one in a bit right guys um, I tried to locate the ring the area that I was doing is obviously right outside the pub so it was very 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 trashy so um, I've knocked it on the head there's no point in trying because everything I'm digging is just trash there's glass in there and I'm just I'm just not risking it so yeah, I'm gonna call, I'm not gonna bother with that one. Sorry about me hair, it's the right mess. It's because I've been wearing my woolly hat, but it's actually warmed up a bit now, so. Yeah, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get on these permissions again and see what I can find. So hopefully I'll have something to show you. Catch you in a bit. All right, guys. So I've just uh, been going around here about five minutes now, and I've brought my first coin up. And it is King George. And it's a 1946. Nice bit of coinage there. See you in a bit. Right guys, I have, I think I found something lovely. Just hang with it. I dug it out and I thought it was a bit of trash. And as you can see, there's still, there's still dirt on it. But if I'm going to push the centre out now, hopefully it won't break. It's got a lovely patina to it. And it is a ring. It is, it's a, it's a ring. Wow. We have green stone in it. I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think it's, um, any, looks like it was gold gilt. But, Nice patina to it. Um, I'll have to get a little clean up when I get home and see what it is. But hey, it's my first ring anyway, so I'm chuffed to bits with that. See you in a bit. Yeah, 
guys, just dug another little hole here. Um, just found another coin, and I believe it is 1922 King George. Beautiful. See you in a bit. All right, guys, just dug another hole, another coin. I actually thought it, it was ringing in like a bullet casing, so I weren't uh, too fussed about doing a live shoot. I'm, I'm trying to get a live dig where I find something nice for you, but anyway, there she is, Queen Vicky. And I'll show you it back. I've even got the mud. Oh, look at that. The engravement is even in the mud. And that is the back. Eighteen sixty-six. See you in a bit. This all. It was saying ten centimeters down, and it was a reading of eighty. So let's try and see if we can find it together. Just put in the hole. Oh. Typical. Do it live and you get trash. A bottle lid. Oh well, see you in a bit. Alright guys. That um gold keeps showing up today. I keep thinking it's gold. Keeps showing me little glints every time. Maybe it's a sign for the near future. I had this little ball. And if you look, just try and get a little clean for you. If you look, it's golden. And it was in there and I thought, oh wow. And then I pulled it out and it had the little rusty bit on the end. So, oh well, we'll keep trying. Hopefully it'll come out at some point today. Okay, See you later. Just up from that little golden ball there. I had another signal. Nice, uh, 84, about 15, said reading, what was it? 15 centimeters, it was about six inches in. And it was another little, King George the third I believe it's an 1899 it's actually got quite good condition actually when it cleans up 1899 yeah when it cleans it up it'll be all right this one I think all right then all right, See you guys. just as I dug that one then that I showed you I replaced the hole moved on literally about six inches and got another cracking signal and I dug it, and there wasn't one, but there was two King Georges in the hole. 1897, and this one's a little bit dirty. What I'll do is I'll give them a clean when I get home, and I'll put the pictures on after. But yeah, two for one. Everybody likes a two for one, don't they? Hey See you guys, in a bit. I'm going to attempt one live dig. I've got a signal, it's reading bang on 85 I've dug the dug the plug I'm just gonna pull it out and then let's see if I can get it to do a live dig for you see what it is right. there we go right let's have a go at digging this see what it is Now reading 86. Absolutely typical. Twice I've done it today now. And it is just a bit of aluminium. Rubbish. Oh well, I will try again. See you later. All right, guys, I did try and make a video as I was walking back to the car, but sadly, my battery died. Um, so, yeah, I found I found a, a lot of coins. I'll put them, I'll clean them up when I get home and put them up. And that little ring, I'll put that up. Found a few other bits that I'll, I'll, I'll put pictures of. This Sunday, I'm off to dig with, uh, which is Steve Henstridge's group. 
in Salisbury and the, the, the group's called Detectorist Investigation Group and we're doing a Roman area this Sunday so that'll be fun I'm going with uh, Searcher Magazine's Dan Spencer so hopefully we'll be able to make a video this Sunday because last Sunday we didn't have much luck together so fingers crossed like I said subscribe make sure you comment because when I do the draw tomorrow if you if you haven't commented you won't be you won't be in the draw and then on the 25th of December I'll be drawing a year subscription to Searcher Magazine and yeah so someone will win that and then I'm planning a couple of other things for next year so keep uh, keep following me the videos are only gonna get better I'm still learning I'm still a little bit edgy when I'm when I'm talking on video so yeah fingers crossed for Sunday I'll make a video I'll get it up on Sunday see you all soon